it comes in this really nice pelican style case uh, the Obris Morgan Explorer 2 is actually out of stock right now so in terms of buying it new uh, you know it's not really an option and I really want to take a look so I was fortunate enough to find it it's got great value I talked in another video you know about kind of the, the four components that you look at when you're, you're buying a watch the first one you know being aesthetics uh, followed by heritage construction and mechanics or movement and the relation of value I mean in terms of value what you get with this it is phenomenal it, this particular uh, model of the Explorer 2 uh, being bead blasted uh, is 289 retail if you buy a brand new not that you can right now uh, and I bought it off of uh, DTT1 for for 265 so I'm really more more than happy uh, with that and you know he's a great guy now he sent it with absolutely everything that would come with it if I had been able to buy a brand new you know it's got the uh, Oberst Morgan timepiece cleaning cloth uh, that I'm probably not going to use just because I've got other ones. And then you've got all the cards that will come with it, the instruction manual, uh, the information on the movement, and your warranty card, which is, you know, pretty phenomenal. Now, when he sent it, it was on the rubber strap. So I've actually already taken that off, uh, put the matching blasted bracelet on it, and I've already kind of sized it. Uh, for me, I'll give you a look at the rubber strap. Um, it's a vintage style rubber strap. It's natural rubber. You know, it's pretty nice. I'm not a huge fan of rubber straps uh, or this particular style. It comes with, uh, which I really appreciate, it comes with the screwdrivers for it. So you've got one side that will help you take the links out. And then on the other side, it's kind of the bigger flathead for the where the lug spring bars would be, but they're actually screws also. It's a 42 millimeter case. Uh, the bracelet size is 20 millimeter, and it does feature the Miyota 9015 um, automatic movement. Um, this watch is, I mean, completely near mint. And I love it. It has a very nicely signed crown, Obris Morgan, Obris Morgan crown. And they kind of designed uh, the symbol for the company to be representative of gears and and uh, and the automatic movement. And it does kind of remind you of uh, the rotor that winds the movement. Uh, if you if you've seen some of the watches that have the display case back, uh, it's very reminiscent of that. Which you know is, is what they were going for. Uh, it's got this nice uh, link bracelet, which uh, like I said, I just got it, so I haven't spent a lot of time with it. But so far, it seems. It seems pretty comfortable. I really appreciate uh, the fact that these are screws and not pins. And instead of spring bars where the lugs would be, you also have screws, which makes changing it a lot easier, um, as long as you're just careful not to scratch it. Now, I really did want to get the Explorer 2 because it has the date on it, which is the primary difference between this and the Explorer 1. I know a lot of people that don't like the dates on their watches, but um, I generally find that I'm always needing to know the date when I'm at work and uh, my wife's always asking me the date. So instead of kind of picking up my phone and looking at it, the date, date of the month seems to be one of the things I can't keep track of. So it drives me crazy when it's not on my watch. Um, first impressions, I, I love it. It is pretty big for me personally. I have a six and a half inch wrist at 42 millimeters. So this is probably about as big as I would go. Um, there's definitely a weight to it, which I love. It's got the rotating bezel uh, it does have super luminova on it so uh, it's going to be it's going to be really well work really well when uh, when it's dark out so uh, no complaints there um, again in terms of value i mean retail when they are in stock this is 289 289 dollars retail for a domed sapphire crystal there's a slight dome there it's really hard to pick up on the camera here for a domed sapphire crystal, a very reliable automatic movement, the nice case that you get on it, and and the screws instead of pins. I mean, at this price point, that's pretty that's pretty unusual. So in terms of value, I think the Obris Morgan Explorer 2, or really any of their Obris Morgan 
a line is pretty hard to beat. I mean, like I said, they are a micro brand company, so a lot of the models they make, they make limited amounts of them and then they discontinue them, like the Bronco and the Predata. Uh, but uh, my initial impression of it is that I, I love it. I can't be happier with it. Uh, and I'm going to wear it, you know, probably for a couple days nonstop. It's kind of displaced at the moment. My marathon is uh, this going to be my tool, my kind of tool watch, everyday watch. Uh, just one I can wear every day when I get home from work. I'm really very, very happy with it. Had a great experience with DTT1. Um, and it is phenomenal. I probably won't wear it on the rubber strap uh, very much, but... This is your first look with me along at um, my new Obris Morgan Explorer 2. I apologize for the glare that we're getting here. And uh, if you, if any of you out there have owned an Obris Morgan or are thinking about getting an Obris Morgan, you have questions, comments, or anything, just uh, go ahead and post them in, in the comments below. But I think that's, that's about it in terms of my fir first impression with my Obris Morgan Explorer 2 is that I am definitely happy with it. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me on the Amateur Watch Collector channel. Uh, and again, this is CG signing out.